Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So have you ever wondered if you could forecast stock prices using machine learning? Well in this video I'll show you how to predict Meta's future price using Python and Facebook's profit library. This is no hype, just code. And let's be real, if predicting stock prices were easy, we'd all be sipping pina coladas on a private island. So take this tutorial as a tool, not a crystal ball. That said, investors, quants, and entire companies pour billions into forecasting models, and today we're joining the chase. So we're also going to try to make predictions. So we'll walk through real historical data, we'll clean it up, we'll train a model, and generate a 365-day forecast all in under 15 minutes, whether you're building a financial dashboard or exploring passive income strategies or just curious about the time series forecasting, this tutorial is for you. All right, so right now I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and this is where we will begin coding. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to install the updated profit package. All right, so here I'm just going to type pip install profit. Okay, and then let's just run this cell by clicking that button to the left and this will start installing that profit package for us. Okay. All right, so next one, we'll go ahead and create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left while the package is being installed. And it looks like I got a check mark here, so it looks like it's good to go. So let's go ahead and import the libraries that we need. So I'm going to import pandas as PD and I'm going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as PLT okay and then from profit I'm going to import profit all right just like Google suggested there let's go ahead and run this cell so we have all of our libraries that we need let's go ahead and create a new cell all right now we want to fetch fetch the historical data. So this is the meta stock data and we're gonna get the stock data for the past five years. So I'm just gonna come over here, click this upload button and we're gonna upload this meta.csv file and click OK, we get a little warning. All right, so let's exit the left pane. Okay. So now I'm going to create a variable called asset underscore data. And I'm going to set this equal to pd.read underscore csv. And we're going to put in the name of the file that we just now loaded, which was called meta.csv. All right. And then I want to show the asset data. So let's go ahead and print. Let's print the first five rows. So we're going to type asset underscore data dot head. And let's run this. Okay, so now we can see the data set and we can see the first five rows of the data. So we have the date, which is what we need, and we have the close price, which we'll need. So that's good. All right, so I'm going to create a new cell. And now let's go ahead and prepare the data for profit. And profit being the library that we are using. So I'm going to create I'm not create. I'm going to set our variable asset data uh, just like Google here. Actually, let me see. I think I think that looks good. We do want to rename the columns, so I'm just going to just tab over for now. So we're going to rename the the columns and and actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to also set asset underscore data equal to asset data and then I only want the the two columns which are the date column and the close price column okay all right so that should do it there and just to be sure I'll put dot copy here okay and then we'll rename those two columns so that's perfect all right, 
let's see what else we want to do here I think that's it so let's let's just run this cell let's create a new cell and next I want to make sure that the Y column is a float and here we are creating the Y column right so we renamed date to be BS and we renamed Y uh, so we renamed close to be Y okay so BS stands for date time and Y is for the value that we want to forecast okay so let's just ensure the Y column is a float and I need to put this in comments or make it a comment all right so I like what Google has suggested here I'm just going to tap over it's setting asset data Y equal to asset data Y as type float all right so that looks good let's run it let's create a new cell and now in this cell we're going to initialize our model and we're going to train the model so here I put initialize and train the model all right so I like what Google put here it's going to tap over so here we're creating a variable called model setting it equal to profit and this right here initializes our model and then here we are training the model so we have model dot fit and then we're putting in asset underscore data and fit is just a, another term for train okay so let's run that and that might take some time okay that was pretty quick let's go ahead and create a new cell now that we have our model and what we're going to do is create a future data frame so I'm going to create a variable called future and I'm going to set it equal to model dot make underscore future underscore data frame and we're going to set the period to be 365 so I like that and Google has suggested that we create a variable called forecast and set it equal to model dot predict and we try to predict on the future data so let's just tap over that looks good so again the period is 365 so we are looking 365 days in the future or predicting we're trying to predict for the next 365 days okay so this right here this line of code is this line of code is creating a data a data frame and extending it 365 days into the future from the last date in the training data for predictions okay so here i'm just going to put we are creating the future data frame and the and the future price predictions all right so let's go ahead and run this let's create a new cell all right so again i'm not sure if i said what this line was but let me go ahead and explain that as well so here we're using the train model to make predictions for each date in the future data frame all right so we're just making predictions here all right okay so let's go ahead and bring this on up and now let's see now we can we have everything we need so let's just plot let's plot the the forecasted data or the forecast so I'm going to create a variable called fig which will be short for figure and I'm setting it equal to model.plot forecast I like that that's exactly what I want to do here okay and then I'm going to add the title and labels to the plot so let's go and type plt dot title and we'll put meta meta price prediction okay and then we'll add a label for the x-axis and the y-axis it'll be called date and price and then we'll type plt show or plt dot show to show the plot and i'm going to put a little dollar sign here just to show that it's in usd 
So let's run this. So now we're just going to show our predictions. We're plotting it here. And I might have to zoom out. But this is basically it. And I'll zoom out once we're completely done here. All right. So we can see the blue line here is, or the blue line has or contains our, our predictions. OK. And the black dots are the actual values of meta. OK. So, so this is what's predicted. And then we have our upper bound here. And then we have our lower bound here. OK. So let's create a new cell. And like I said, we'll go back to that chart. And here, we're just going to show the last five predicted prices. OK. So we just type forecast. Oh, I'm just going to just tap over here. So forecast, and then we're we're just going to show these columns, which are the date, the expected price, the lower bound of the expected price, and the upper bound of the expected price. And of course, we could put a five here, but it's there's a implicit five there. So let's go ahead and run this cell. And there we go. So we can see that this model thinks by September 28th, 2026, that the price of Meta will be $825.22. And it thinks the upper bound will be $1,062.88 for one share. And it thinks the lower bound will be $941.99. OK. And then, of course, on October 2nd, 2026, we get these predictions here. All right. So pretty cool. Let's go back up to the chart. Let's zoom out. OK, so now we can see the chart a little bit better. Right, so we can see data from 2020 all the way up to 2025 here and then of course our predictions going out into the future all right so that's how you use profit to forecast stock prices smart modeling and clear predictions so if you found this helpful please hit that like button please subscribe and drop a comment with the next asset you may want me to forecast. And if you would like the code or data set that was used in this video, then you can get it on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And I will leave a link for that in the description below. So thank you all for watching. I hope it was entertaining for you all. I hope you learned something. And I hope to see you in the next video. All right. So talk to you all later. Oh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.